Hello, my name is Daniel, and I am from the DCRS tag team. In this video, you will learn the basics to enable the NX API feature, configure and validate it on the Nexus 9K series. But first, let's remember that the NX API allows you to use the CLIs that traditionally run on the switch to the outside of the switch through HTTP or HTTPS. It is an extension to the existing CLI system on the 9K. NX API supports show commands, configurations, as well as Linux Bash. The NX API has a sandbox page, which is expected to serve only as a sandbox for trying out the API and quickly check the API output. Users are expected to write easy scripts utilizing HTTP or HTTPS transport. Prior to enable NX API, it will be needed to have the configuration to route the traffic, as well as the user and the user role. In this example, the management interface as well as the BRS management, it is being used to receive the API calls. Now, without further ado, let's proceed and look how the configuration will look like. To enable the NX API feature, the following needs to be configured. Now that the feature is enabled, let's proceed to validate it. You can use the show NX API command in order to check the feature. Once that you have access to the Nexus switch via the web browser, the UI will look like this. On the top input box is where the show command will be introduced. Let's introduce it and click send. On the boxes below, you will see the request box and the response box. On the request box, you will see a template of how the call should look like when using it for a script. On the response box, you will see the output response with the format that the Nexus will prompt. It is worth mentioning to review the guidelines and limitations section under the NX API configuration guide. If by any chance you encounter any incident with the functionality of the feature, do not hesitate in opening a case with Cisco Tag. Thank you for the time invested in watching this video.